Hi, Dr. Lara here. I hope you're doing well today. So on my walk today, I actually asked the question, how can I raise my vibration to the level of abundance and prosperity that has been intuitively shown to me? So I was like in my in my own little world, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for inspiration and a new idea or whatever. And the word that came through was receiving. It said, my, my intuitive voice said, we need to learn how to receive in order to raise our vibration for the abundance and prosperity that is available to us. And I was like, wow, that's, that's really cool. I mean, I know that I need to do that more in my life. And I was reflecting back on the last month or so of uh, interactions that I've had with people. And I tithe 10% of my income to people that um, have given me spiritual nourishment. And it was interesting to uh, notice the responses that I got. So I did for one person and I never heard from that person until a little bit later. And uh, it wasn't because she wasn't grateful for it. She, she was, but she had a hard time receiving it. And it was really hard for her to say thank you. And I tied to somebody else and that person came back and said, I can't receive this. <laughs> I was like, okay. And then I received, I gave it to somebody else. And this person said, um, thank you, but it was unnecessary kindness. Okay. So all of these things came into my mind. And then for me, my own, my own thing was, um, it's wonderful client sent me this beautiful bou bouquet of flowers and this amazing note that just touched my heart. And it took me a couple days to respond and say, thank you, because it was like, oh, it was like so much to, to receive that love that she had given me. So it really makes sense for all of us in order for us to move forward in our lives to receive the abundance and prosperity we need to be able to hold the space in order to bring it in and receive it because we can uh, manifest and imagine you know this beautiful life with all of this money but if we don't have the the capacity to receive the abundance and prosperity that's coming to us we're not, we're going to miss it we're going to miss it. And that's really important that we come from a space of appreciating rather than feeling that we're entitled. And to come from a space of really knowing that it's our divine right to be prosperous and abundant. It's our divine right. It's not about deserving. It's about knowing that it's our divine right to live in comfort, to experience adventures, to not have to worry about paying bills. Like that's our divine right. But I don't know about you. When I grew up, I was told it is better to give than receive. I'm poor, but I'm happy. And somehow it was like this honorable thing to be a martyr. <laughs> Can you guess I grew up Catholic? But when I grew, when I grew out of that, and I'm thinking about these things today, it's like I can be wealthy and be happy because I know how to handle money and I can give. I can do a lot of good with the money that I receive, right? And so it was just, it's mind blowing to think about how much we want, but we aren't really willing to receive. So let me ask you a question. How well are you receiving abundance and prosperity? And it's not just money, it's not material things, it's compliments. It's love. It's, it's kindness. So just think about that. Where in your life could you open up your heart a little bit more um, and to really love yourself enough to be able to receive the gifts that the universe is trying to give to you? So I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for listening. Take care.